Hey guys and gals, my name is Luke. Welcome to my house. Today for this episode, this is an updated gear room. This is kind of a vlog. I felt that it was time to show off my new gear room because things have definitely changed over the last year. Now, previously, I had everything outside in a shed. Well, with our daughter gone, we have a spare room and that became the gear room. So folks, come with me. Let's check this out. All right. So this is the Backpackers Camper's Paradise. This is where I keep all the gear. Now this thing is a little bit cluttered at the moment and that's because of you guys. You guys have been sending me a ton of viewer mail. So I have a huge pile over here stacked up. I cannot wait to see what you all have sent in. Thank you all so much. So to start off here, let's talk about sleeping bags. These are my down bags up top. I have synthetic bags down at the bottom. And as you can see, this is not the most elegant of storing solutions, but when it comes to sleeping bags, they really do take up a lot of space. So you do the best that you can. And in this case, I'm doing the best that I can. At one point in time, I did have a rack here, like a clothing rack, similar to these. And uh, essentially I had them hanging. While cool, it just took up a ton of space. So I ended up putting them back in bags and this does work. So right here are some of my sleeping bags. Some of these are products that I'm testing out. Some of these you will see videos on soon, such as the Jacks Are Better quilt. That is good down to zero degrees, I believe. So this here is my shelter and sleeping pad rack. I have some larger size military tents up top. Then I have some four season tents right through here. Some really good ones. Heatherberg Mountain Hardware. Marmots, North Face. Many of these tents you guys have not seen yet, but videos are coming soon. Going down, we have all sorts of different shelters here. Bivvies, down below that, three season tents, hammocks. And then of course, at the very bottom are all of the sleeping pads. Everything here is very easy to see, and that's important for me because I, I use so many different products. I wanna come in, I wanna see what I got, and I wanna say, I want the Marmot Titan too. That's what I'm taking out. So I grab it and it always goes back. So it's a very nice, very clean system and that's important to me. Now with these two racks here, there's a variety of different areas. So I have a whole bunch of pouches on this one, different odds and ends. I have some frame sheets for different backpacks, which I will throw into different backpacks to make them more rigid, more comfortable. That really works well with military packs that are just lacking a little bit. You can throw one of these in, stiffen it up, and it changes the pack dramatically. Let's see, down below I have some food products, some MREs, some coffee, and going down below, more MREs, all sorts of food stuff. Going down, this is where I have all of my knives and tools and stuff like that. Different products that I'm testing out, such as this hatchet right here. Check that bad boy out. Coming soon. I really like this hatchet. The only thing is the handle. It was developed for a hell of a man. Just gigantic. I could barely get my hand all the way around it. And it's not bad. I just wish it was a little bit smaller. It requires a big grip, no doubt about that. Just grab a couple knives for you right off the bat. A Mora knife. One of my favorite knives of all time. Oh yes. What is this, everybody? That is my question for you all in this episode. What is this knife? Do you know? And I have saws down there, different tools, and so on. Going down below that, I have flashlights, electronics, solar panels, lanterns, and so on. Such as the little mini light stick, <laughs> which has the SOS light. That's actually wrong. I, I don't remember what it was. And I mean, I could look at it, but it was supposed to be SOS, but it wasn't, it was something else. In the corner, hatchets, axes, German axe, Swiss military axe. This is the spar tool. This is a shovel. It's a knife blade. <laughs> you have a pry bar, a pick, a hammer. It has a whole bunch of tools all in one. Are you guys interested in seeing a review on this? Let me know, comment down below. Moving over to this rack here. This is my cordage box. I have some rope up top and I have hand warmers, some from Zippo, a whole case of the other kind. Susie loves her hand warmers. I have all sorts of permethrin products, waterproofing products for tents and so on. You guys will be seeing more of that stuff later on. 
down below that, I have first aid kits. You guys will be seeing more of some of these coming up in the future. I have all sorts of small little items here, like tape for your feet to prevent blisters. I have a product here that's essentially wool that you wrap around your toes to prevent blisters. Very interesting product. With the friction, it actually felt... It's weird. It's weird. It does work, but it's weird. I have the Z-Pax pouch, which I carry and conceal with. I just clip this onto the uh, shoulder harness on my backpack. Quick access to it. A video on this is coming up. You guys have been asking about that. So that is coming up soon. On the side, I have all sorts of carabiners, water bottle pouch, hydration carrier. I grab this all the time, just go off running. Here's a product that I've been testing out. This is essentially a bushcraft grill. Not for backpacking, of course. Going down, I have all sorts of hydration products, uh, different filters, different systems, all sorts of stuff that you guys have not seen before. So there's plenty of videos coming up. Going down, the next two shelves are basically for products that I'm testing out, products that I just got in. So everything that you see here is pretty much items that you guys have not seen before. So I really can't show that off to you right now. Just kidding, let's take a look. You guys have seen this Fjall Raven backpack before. This is my go-to day pack. I love it. It's so incredibly comfortable. I love that pack. So when it comes to products, which you guys haven't seen yet, this is from Sierra Designs. So this is the Clear Wing 2. I have a setup video coming up and I've also done a test night with some rain. Pretty impressive tent. It's not all that heavy, it's not all that big. When you set it up, it's a palace. It's huge, it really is, it really is huge. MSR Pocket Rocket. Deluxe. This one has a built-in pressurizer, so supposedly it works better in colder temperatures. My testing on this is going to begin soon. Here are some gear bags, which are going into testing. This is a one-way valve for canisters. Essentially, you can take the gas from one canister and put it in another. Check that out. Coming up soon. Hats, gloves, toboggans. Check this out. I had this made. This is from Camelback. What do you think of that? Oh yeah. Hmm, I might have to do a giveaway with this. Would anybody want this? Comment down below. Here's that super shelter bushcraft thing. A video is coming up soon and that is going to be a very interesting trip. It's going to be a lot of fun because I am going to put this to the test and we can determine together if it is worth purchasing. So check this out, everybody. I have the Olight M2R Warrior flashlight. Well, I was contacted by Olight asking if I would like the copper version. And I said, yes, thinking that it was copper color. No, it's made out of copper. <laughs> That's not what I expected, so. Yes, my review is coming up soon. The best-selling backpacking tent on Amazon. This is it right here. This is the Lynx One from Alps Mountaineering. That is going into testing very soon. I have a UCO Lantern. The review is coming up on that pretty soon. How about a Solo Stove? Yes, the review is coming up on this as well. Over here on these shelves, I have different stoves, pots, all sorts of water containers and so on down below. I have fire starters, gas cans, all sorts of miscellaneous items. Like right here, this is essentially a bellows. So let's pretend we have our fire. Blow on it, get your fire going nice and easy. All sorts of little things that I've come up with over the years. Matches, ferro rods, alcohol, different sorts of bags and stuff like that. Below the stoves and water bottles and so on, we have all sorts of blankets and sleeping bag liners and stuff like that. Some of these products you will see soon. I also have some compression bags. Then over here in the corner is the gigantic pile of viewer mail. I have no idea what's in these boxes, what's in these envelopes, but I cannot wait to find out. You guys are too cool. So behind all of this mail here, I have some clothing, some jackets, rain jackets, and so on. I have this little I think this is like a shoe rack that actually attaches, goes over the door here, but it makes an excellent gear organizer. So I have belts, gaiters, and so on. So jackets, waterproof stuff, insulation layers inside. I have all sorts of military surplus in there, different pouches. I have kayaking gear, paddles, vest. Moving over here, these are my backpack racks. There are two of them. 
one right here. This is all civilian gear for the most part. The other side is nothing but military gear. So anything that I see here, I can simply pull it off, put it back. These just essentially roll out of the way. It's nice and simple. I think I need to clear out some gear. What do you all think? Now, speaking of which, now I probably shouldn't be saying this because I don't know when I'll get around to it, but I have a ton of stuff that I'm going to offer to you all to help support the channel in the future. It's all about just getting the time to list everything on the website. The gear that I get in, I cannot hold on to all of it. So I want to pass it on to you all for a killer deal. It's all about the killer deal. I, I did this last year. I did some early this year and sold everything just like that because it's such a good deal that I'm offering because I test these products out. I can't keep them all. So might as well pass them on to my buds, you guys. There's quite a bit in here, isn't there? <laughs> if you have any questions about what I've done here, or if you want to see more, just let me know. And I'll definitely get a video made for you. My plan is for the future to do more vlogs with the channel. So it might be like gear review, vlog the next day, gear review, vlog, adventure, and so on. Everybody take care, strength and honor. Bye guys.